So have you heard the one about the photographer who tried to take a picture of a cat and it came out too blurry? Turns out their aperture was too low. Ooh, that hurt a little bit. We're gonna be talking about aperture today, surprise. So aperture plays a crucial role in photography. It's the adjustable opening in the lens that controls the amount of light that reaches the camera's sensor. Now by adjusting the aperture, you can change the depth of field in your photos, which pretty much just determines how much of the photo is in focus. Now aperture is explained in what's called f-stops. You'll hear this a lot. My uncle said it would have been a really good indie band name. I don't know if that's claimed yet. That's actually kind of a good one. Thanks, Leo. Now the lower the f-stop number, the wider the lens opens up, which means the wider the aperture will be essentially. Now this will mean that more light will be able to get into the sensor. So if you're thinking about how your pupils are, you know, if your pupils are really small, you're not getting as much light in. If you open up your pupils, you get a lot of light in. But if you have any experience with glasses and getting your eyes tested, sometimes they put a little dropper in your eye and it makes it look like you've done a lot of drugs because your pupils just go and if you're of the blind people like me, you'll know that you can't see anything except for like the smallest little thing. And that's because so much light's coming into your sensor that it doesn't know what to do with it. Now this is super useful in low light conditions because you're allowing more light to get into your sensor. However, that, that open aperture, that wide aperture, means less is gonna be in focus. It's also called a shallow depth of field for those of you who want to know the fancy photography terms. Now on the other hand, a higher f-stop number indicates a narrow aperture which means less lights can be able to pass through into that sensor which means your eyes are dilating so less light gets and burns the back of your eyes so if you think about a really bright day when you can see everything your pupils are gonna be really small because it's trying to block all of that light getting into the back of your eyes allowing you to not go blind also why they give you those really corny looking sunglasses when you get out of the doctor's office when they use that little dropper. Those things are so cool. This has been off the whole time, hasn't it? Oh, oh I, I swore my microphone was off right there. I was about to be so bummed. So when you're thinking about a bright sunny day, you can see everything. A closed down aperture is gonna be really good for landscapes because you want all of those mountains in focus and you want all those trees nice and sharp. You want a lot of light coming in. Tighter that aperture is, the more is gonna be in focus. The lower that number is, the less in focus. The higher that number, the more in focus. So next time you take photos, don't forget to go around and play with your aperture. On your camera, if you're using a DSLR, there is a tab on the top of it that says AV. Go ahead and just use that. Happy shooting.